I feel like it's interesting how quickly your views on someone about their personality can change. It was cool to meet people and then see where they actually fell in the lineup because I had these other assumptions already made on like where I thought they should be. That was kind of almost like a reality check. <laughs> My name is Connor. Uh, I am 21 years old. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. My turn. <laughs> JP returns uh, Hi, baby. I'm Claire. Um, I'm 22. I'm from Huntington Beach, California, and I'm a recent college graduate. Hi, I'm Sierra. Um, I'm 22. I'm from Massachusetts, but I live in LA now, and I'm a content writer. I'm Gravity. I'm 23. I'm an engineer, and I'm from Los Angeles. My name is Abe Valentino. Let's go. And Love. I am 19 years old. I'm originally from Los Angeles, and I am currently a nursing student as well as a social media influencer. You're in college. <laughs> yes. um, what was like everyone's majors? Film. Film. I was psychology. Oh, I was English and screenwriting. Astrophysics. Okay. Oh. Gosh. Uh, That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> the, the name Gravity is starting to make a lot more sense now. <laughs> so, what do you guys like to do for fun? I like traveling. I like reading eating ice cream. I like hanging out with my dogs. I have two. Kayaking, gardening, vegetarian <laughs> grilling. Oh I'm pescatarian. Okay, besties. Um, I enjoy These are all solo things. hanging out with my friends and making, filming YouTube videos. Yeah, well, here you are. <laughs> Makes sense. I like to lay around a lot, um, but I also, like my main hobby is cosplaying. Well, I uh, I like to watch a lot of movies. Okay, you know, fair friends, enough. I like that. My friends are just by myself, you know. <laughs> so, oh, also sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, you can go first. Oh gosh. Literally go no, first. No, please go first. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Do you want to give this for him? No. Okay, sure. I kind of do now. No, okay, I'm kind of. Rock, paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, this is cringe. Oh, my god. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, my god. Okay, you go first. Now I feel bad. I go first. <laughs> <laughs> I go first. I feel like um, this is not just um, extrovert. This is just fucking annoying. It doesn't matter like if you're introvert or introvert. Everybody can agree. This is just. Actually, fucking. What were you guys' like clicks in high school? Theater. Theater. Oh, you did theater? Oh, theater kid. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Were you like more like backstage or were you like performing? No, I I, I acted in like a lot of them, but okay. the last one I directed. What about you, Gravity? I was just kind of like hanging out in the library with the staff. Like it just kind of felt like that. So yeah. I was homeschooled, so I took community college classes for junior and senior year. So I was like sort of a community college student, sort of homeschooled, so. <laughs> what did you guys do for your last birthday? Just me, me and a couple friends, we went to a neighborhood bar and just had a couple drinks, yeah. I did kind of like the similar thing because COVID. It's like my last two birthdays were not entirely what I wanted. Well, it's like ideal. I like to go do things, like I like activities. What about you guys? Uh, I guess, <laughs> I don't know, I just want to be outside. Uh, yeah, I'd like to be by the ocean. Video says, ranking strangers from introvert to extrovert. Maybe like a road trip. I feel like this one's so like pick me to say. No, but um, pretty much every birthday I've had has been a great birthday. <laughs> but I, for my last birthday, my 19th birthday, I ended up actually going to New York with my sister for a couple days, and then I came back and went to a concert with my best friend. What concert? Um, emo night tour. <laughs> Are you the person that asks people to hang out, or are you the person that's like asked continuously to be like to hang out with someone? It's more of a mutual thing between me and my friends. It's more of like, oh, so we're hanging out today. Having like only one. I think this is again. I think this is something that I thought I was, I was wrong for years about it, and I wish people understand. This is very important, Chad. Very important. If you don't pick up the phone and you don't answer a text or whatever the fuck when it comes down to hang out, when people ask you, people stop asking very quickly. Okay, that's just it's just human nature. Okay. I'm somebody who used to get asked all the time to hang out with them. I would never answer. People just stop and people just stop asking. And at first, I was like, now I want to hang out, and I feel like I'm not getting messages. Why? What the fuck? And I realized later on, years afterwards, it's just my fault. I just it's my fault. End of story. More of a mutual thing between me and my friends. More of like, you might have to force it. You might have to force it and ask to hang out with them a little bit for a couple of weeks or whatever, or even months until they pick up the pattern again of them inviting you, right? But until then, it's just gonna stay in that like status quo. Oh, so we're hanging out today. Having like only one real close friend? Yeah. We'll throw out a bunch of ideas, and then I'm just kind of like, all right, so you tell me when you want to do this, because I want to do this right now, you let me know. I feel like I ask my friends, but it, only my closest friends. With other friends, yeah, I'm, I never know whether I should ask or whether yeah. they're gonna ask me. <laughs> I love to initiate things. I always just like text my friends, hey, you wanna like- Hey that chat, we're talking please about, know you yeah. guys are loved and there's always someone Usually here in chat who uh, you can talk to. 
which you guys are like I'm not Mr. doing X, thanks things. for all the juicy uh, content perfect, you mean Connor, a lot okay. to yeah, people all to pay their side. Do you feel like you we have love like you. Oh okay. yeah. Also, one more thing. One more thing. It can be good sometimes if you're the one who always invites. Sometimes to not invite and see how it goes, you know. Because maybe sometimes these guys they don't like to, they don't like to hang out with you that much. If you don't ask them, they don't do shit with you or whatever the fuck, right? It's good sometimes. Not not out of insecurity. So what happens, you know? Because a lot of times it can happen where you always invite him, and the day you stop for like a day or two, you're on your own, and then that, that repeats until you nobody just calls you, man. You're just gonna. I'd range of friends. that's just me though. Has to go hang out with. Yeah, yeah. It's a, I, I would say it's a it's a wide range. Okay. I feel like I've learned a lot and nothing at the same time. No. Same. <laughs> <laughs> a good question to like go off of is everyone's like first impressions of each other. Okay. Hi Connor. You're kind of an enigma. From the way that you talked, you're much more extroverted than I thought you would be. You just, you do a lot. You sound like you like love to be with people. I think you'd be like more in the middle simply because of the fact that you didn't talk as much as like the rest of the group. You do sound like you do a lot of things with people, but I, I feel like bro, you may not be being. These guys yell and jump and fucking go crazy. Of course nobody can talk bro. Completely honest. I'm gonna have to say like of this group, I think you're Probably at four. Oh, okay. so you're on. The so back. we're there now. Yes. Okay. Now you? your turn. Oh. To be <laughs> on the chopping block. Uh. As the day progressed, you were like, you know, you were in charge of the conversation. You were getting it going. So I would say you're like one or two. Yeah, one or two. Okay. What you two are probably the top two. <laughs> okay. In terms. Of oh, so does like everyone think we would be the top two? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, does, like would anyone? Okay. Definitely. Well, is the rest of the lineup, like, good? Actually, I think I should move one more down. You think so? Yeah, because I observed oh. that the, con it. the conversation <laughs> usually starts by you, mm. uh, second by you, mm -hmm. and then pass down this line back to me. Mm. So I think I should be at the tail end. So you think you and she, Sierra should switch? Mm. I mean, I think I'm either in four or five. I just don't okay. know which one, but I'm fine with switching. Mm. Oh, no. I, it's not, not that I don't think that you're less extroverted than Connor. It's just I think that if Connor's what he's saying is true, he's going out with his friends to like the bars. He likes parties I and don't. Parties. Yeah, fair. it's just like I would say that someone more extroverted would do that compared to someone more introverted. That, but I like, would I would argue though that extroverted people don't inherently like to like go out to parties. Like Connor could be telling us that he likes to go out with friends, but maybe it's for like two hours at a time. If I think I'm having fun at a party, then I, I will stay for longer. But I would never be. The Two hours seems like a lot of time, though. That seems two hours is that's a lot of time. I want to like dance in the center of the, the, mm. the dance floor because okay. I don't want attention like that. But I, I want to have fun, but yeah. I don't want attention. Okay. okay. Can I get the first impression so that I can oh, figure yeah. out what? Oh you're yeah. Doing? Go yes. for it. Uh, first impressions of you? Yes. Okay. I really thought you were gonna be lower on the ranking mm. simply because I you came in and you were just like super quiet. And I was like, maybe she's <laughs> maybe she's introverted, but just has a like, good style. But th that was like the one thing that was like throwing me off. I think like after talking to you, that you're in the right spot. So I don't know, you were kind of like a bit of an enigma, but it definitely looks like you know that like you are on the more extroverted side. Like I feel like you're very confident enough. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> I feel like you should be higher. Oh. Personally. Do you think we should switch? Yes. Ooh. Okay, what's your name, Gravity? Okay. Okay. Yeah, just because you kept saying you love outdoors and also kayaking is do you do like single kayak or do you do like? No, I have a tandem kayak. You could fit two and a half people. You got friends. <laughs> you got friends. Well, she said her hobbies were gardening, kayaking, and some other shit though. Maybe. You think they should switch I, back? I, I'm not sure. I think we should switch back. I was thinking yeah, about I too, but I just didn't want to say anything. I was like, I was like, cut that out, like, cut that out, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I, not that I don't think that you're just more Slow move, slow move. It's just, I don't know. It's just, you make it obvious. I mean, they're all solo stuff, I think. And I don't think it's obvious. Ooh. You, you. I mean, I it's, do? no, 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 not like you make it obvious. <laughs> I was like, what? No, 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 I feel like it's, <laughs> it's more obvious. <laughs> no, okay. For us to be like, for first impressions to say that like, you're more extroverted. Mm -hmm. But for me, I was like, oh, I got you guessing. Yeah, no, you so, definitely caught me off guard. Okay. Sure. So, okay. are we like happy with this lineup? I don't know. I feel like Connor might be trying to throw us off. I'm not sure. I've, Which is why I don't, I don't think don't he's at the end. <laughs> That's why I'm I don't, like... I don't know, but now I feel like I'm overthinking everything. I guess I feel comfortable with you guys staying like that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Do you feel like you're the first one, though? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do you feel comfortable where you are? Yes. Do you feel comfortable where you are? <laughs> yes. Do you feel comfortable where you are? <laughs> 
my, my ego tells me I need to be number one, but no, I don't think I'm number one. I don't think I should be number one. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Do you want to switch? Do you want to switch? Cringe. Do you want to rock, paper, scissors? If that's how you... Extroverts are fine, I think, overall. Self-proclaimed extroverts, fucking annoying. Fuck you. want to solve that? We totally can. Actually, but, fuck no, you. I'm comfortable in this position, right here or there. I literally don't care. Switch. Okay. <laughs> okay, confident. <laughs> confident. You're saying, I'm an extrovert, man. Okay, um, that's it. That's so true. I'm good. Okay, so we think this is the... This is the... the... This is it? Yes. First off, let's have gravity switch with Claire. Let's have Connor switch with Claire. And then let's have Sierra switch with Claire. Do you want my difference? This is most introverted to most extroverted. Based on what the? <laughs> okay, so she lied to us. No, yeah, I, I, I did not lie. I wish I had more clue about what was going on. <laughs> I did not expect Claire to be most introverted, especially because she, she kind of was like guiding most of the conversations. She just really seemed extroverted to me. My Myers-Briggs personality type is ENTP. I have ENTJ. I have ENFJ. I'm INFJ. And I am INFP. I have a recent really called so D E E Z. Not, <laughs> not a lot of people have that. Very D's? extroverted. I'm really capable of like, not having a conversation and like talking to people, but like on the inside, I just get really tired. Uh, my anxiety just like holds me back a bit, just because of like past events in my life. In college, I experienced a pretty abusive relationship that really kind of beat me down and heightened my anxiety. I got like panic attacks and everything. And now I'm kind of scared to go certain places and just like to do certain things. So I think it's definitely impacted just like how I navigate everything, which sucks, but I'm learning to come to terms with like who I am now. This is not what I expected like, yeah. at all. I like dress very colorful Cheers. to like express myself better. Mm -hmm. So that's like a big reason why a lot of people think that like I'm super extroverted and I like to be out and going all the time but this is just a way for me to like, another form of communication when sometimes it's too hard for me to do that. When I first came in here, I thought for sure you were gonna be all the way up here. <laughs> so like, I just, I guess it was just more of like, this sounds so corny, you can't judge a book by its cover, but like yeah. it's literally what we did here and then turned out completely different. Like recharge with people or by yourself? With people. It takes me a long time to burn out, <laughs> let's just put it that way. I have this answer <laughs> prepared. I made it to wear my comfiest leg. I feel like overall, I don't want to be worried about this. I think like people um, overuse the word judge as a uh, as a buzzword almost. Like judging isn't that bad. Like that's literally human nature. You judge. There's nothing you can do, and it is there's not much you can do to manipulate your thoughts, or whatever the fuck, to not judge. You're you're literally wired to judge. You judge all the time, everything. It's hardwired. Literally. Yes, it is. How do you think? How do you think you go out in places and this don't get robbed, or or, or 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 sometimes even killed in certain places, or whatever the fuck, dude? Because you judge what you do and who you interact with, and the place you're gonna go based on what you see and the 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 the, the influx that you have. You judge. Yes, that's how it is.